Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a Hot Wheels 76 Greenwood Corvette. It's the all-American car. Remember that old commercial jingle, baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet? <laughs> I do, but I go way back. It's the perfect pick for my entry to the Three Blind Mice 4th of July Parade. So many people took part in my all red and white Canada Day Invitational that it's only polite that I give the American flag a little wave today. So here's to the red, white, and blue. Such a nice looking car. And the interesting part of this is the glass that I'm holding now because it not only covers the cockpit but extends all the way down that long hood to include the headlights. We've got a one seat racing interior with a NOS bottle, a stick shift and sport exhaust on the bottom. And because it's a plastic base I can use this lighter trick to quickly open up those three little tabs that hold them in and I'm not discarding these original wheels today I'm going to refurbish them to match the paint scheme that I've got in mind. I give those posts a little tickle with the Dremel burr tool just to take any edges off and do a quick test fit. Everything looks good with a couple of screws now sunk in there we can move forward. Greenwood Corvettes is an American automotive performance tuning and racing company specializing in Corvette sports cars and race cars was founded by automotive enthusiasts and professional race car drivers and brothers Bert and John Greenwood. Throughout his career as a professional race car driver and builder, John Greenwood successfully drove Chevy Corvettes in several significant races in the 70s, including the 24 Hours of Le Mans, the 24 Hours of Daytona, and the 12 Hours of Sebring. They're vet experts. If you like American muscle, then I want to make sure you tune in to see my Camaro build. It's part of my summer road trip, a buddy build with old man die cast. I got another one coming up with Matchbox Mark on a BW theme. And on the last day of July, it's the four horsemen build to Jeep Gladiator. We're turning it into a flatbed tow truck. This week's community shout out goes to young timer, old timer. Old timer is the European term for a classic car and Demi's channel features one of the all time great model collections. Follow the link in the description and check it out please. You'll see I did a two tone paint fade on this and I chose this flag isolated the blue and the white stars. I took away the blue and then I inverted that to an negative image because using ghost white toner it's going to print everything in black in the white toner like this. So you should just see a star spangled Corvette roof like so. Pretty cool effect. Smooth it out over all of the contours of the vet using a little bit of micro sole when I need to that softens the decals and helps them to conform and later I will cut out the windows and work around the wheel wells so they're perfectly done. Found a couple of bald spots where I plant a few more stars there just to fill that in and the stripes were laid on one by one. It was the same original picture of the Old Glory. So I didn't want straight stripes, that'd be a little boring. So this looks like it's fluttering in the breeze and I think I got a really nice effect. What do you think? Now doesn't that make you want to stand up and put your hand over your heart? <laughs> I flip it over and do a little detail on the chassis. I like to do this usually with some kind of chrome or silver pen. It's the easiest way to go about it. And to break up the monochromatic scheme, I put a little 
red or gold, some accent color to brighten up a bit and a channel logo, as always. This is a lady's fingernail decorating tool. Now and then I put on a hat and sunglasses and go down the beauty aisle and fill up a bag because this is the perfect tool for this kind of application. The Corvette tail lights are round and they're indented in the back of the car so you can't really make a mistake. You get a dab of paint touch it in there, be careful, and you're going to get a perfectly round headlight. And the trunk lock as well. Right, so today I'm not swapping out the wheels. I'm just going to refurbish the original Hot Wheels that came with it. They're plastic. I'm doing a gold rim on the inside just with a little paint application and here's where I do some fine touch up along the edges but I will swap out this little steering wheel just makes me feel better when I do this even if you can't clearly see inside of the car I know it's there and <laughs> it looks a whole lot better I put a couple of minutes of attention into the sport interior now by doing the single racing seat in red. Sometimes this will take two or even three coats because the plastic has kind of a waxy surface to it. This is a little NOS bottle. So I do that in the correct color and I even take a moment to paint the straps on there and a red stick shift knob. Well, it's a gorgeous car, isn't it? And I want to do it justice for my American friends south of the border to where I grew up in Canada. Always a good big brother to us, and I appreciate you guys, and so many of my channel viewers are Americans. So I'm wishing you all the best today and every day. Corvette is snapping back into place with no issues at all. This one gave me no struggles. It was quite a joy to spend a couple of days on the bench on this particular project. And that's always the last touch. I give the wheels a quick spin just to make sure it's not too loose, not too tight, and we're good to go. Let's have a closer look at my Star Spangled Corvette now. I think I got a beautiful clear coat finish on that and the gold rims look terrific. Nice tail lights standing out. It was a tricky decal job to do, but I managed to get that on nicely over top of the two-tone fade. Just enough detail underneath, and I think it turned out super. Love you to make a respectful comment below and tell me what you think of the Greenwood Corvette, what you might have done or done differently. And be sure to watch this 4th of July for all of the different builds coming out for the Three Blind Mice Parade. I'll leave you with a couple of glamour shots of mine in the garage diorama. And on top of an appropriately blue background. There it is. Wishing you a happy Independence Day and a great barbecue, time with family and friends, a day off of work. I'll pack this one up and take it to my local Goodwill shop where it will become a gift for a little boy or girl. It's got a certificate of authenticity on the back, one of one. Thanks for visiting my channel today. Wishing you a great 4th of July. It's coffee time.